What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking to you about why the wicked seem to prosper. Understand that through our own observation, through our own eyes that we see, we think that the wicked oftentimes is prospering due to the fact of the matter of them not receiving consequences in front of us. But we have to understand that what we see and what we observe through our eyes and in our life may be inaccurate and we have to understand that all of our observations aren't always necessarily correct we have to understand that we have to pay attention to ourselves and not what the wicked do and focus on ourselves and focus on what we need to do to protect ourselves spiritually mentally physically and financially we need to understand that what we always see through our eyes isn't correct and we try to spot things in our life and in other people's life that isn't necessarily correct. And the brain has a way of trying to find problems and creating solutions out of those problems instead of looking at ourselves within and understanding ourselves and understanding the psychology of others and just paying attention to our life. Many times we see in a wicked person's life that they may be prospering due to money, fame, success, financial freedom, wealth, status, all the things of the world, external possessions, but we really don't understand the significance of our life. Sometimes we wish and hope and plead that something happens to the wicked, that the Most High arms the wicked and shows the wicked the way of righteousness but we have to understand that the most high works in his own time and not on our time sometimes what we see from the outer perspective dealing with a wicked person we hope and plead and wish that the suffering would stop but we have to understand that the most high may be working through that individual before we know it we have to understand that in our own lives we're going to deal with many various wicked people. We're going to deal with people who aren't doing the right thing, walking the right path. But what we must do is protect ourselves spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, putting our focus in the most high and letting the most high deal with these individuals. We want to take matters into our own hands and deal with the wicked and show them how to stop their ways. But that is not our job to do so. Our job is to walk in the righteousness of the Most High, walking in the faith, understanding our belief system in the Most High and how we can have a stronger relationship with the Most High instead of trying to appease to the wicked and trying to harm the wicked and trying to get the wicked to change their wicked ways. Oftentimes, the Most High lets people run around who are wicked and do wicked things until it comes to a point where the Most High has to take action and deal with these people for their consequences. And you may not see the result of their wickedness now, but trust me, everyone reaps what they sow. If you're righteous, you will reap what you sow. If you're wicked, you will reap what you sow. But we must understand that as people who are walking in the light away from darkness, there's going to be many different barriers and chains and strongholds that stop people from walking in the light and staying in darkness, even changing your ways, changing your habits, changing your belief system, changing how you see the world is hard enough. So we must give grace to people who are not walking in the righteous path in the righteous direction and have mercy because we must understand that we weren't always righteous ourselves and everyone displays a form of wickedness because this world is a fallen world but that doesn't mean that if we displayed wickedness in the past that in the present in the future we can't change so give people who are in positions of power that may do wickedness give them grace because you may never know people can change and people could repent and turn to the most high 
So we must be forgiving and we must be understanding of what goes on. Sometimes people have a hardened heart and they don't want to pursue the most high. They don't want to change their ways. They don't want to repent. And ultimately, if that's the case, then the most high will have to deal with those individuals. But people who do want to change, give them grace and understand that it's a process and it takes time. And we mustn't be judgmental of people in general due to the fact of the matter of we were once those same people in the past who used to do various different things that were wicked. And if we've got out of that space of doing wickedness, it's best that we move on and move forward and try to teach others how to walk in the light and how to walk in the righteousness and how to please the most high. We must understand ourselves first and then understand others and help others if they ask for help and they want to receive that advice and guidance to the most high and show them the way. Other than that, we mustn't be judgmental, but we must walk in righteousness and let the most high deal with our problems and our situations. Let the most high deal with our problems and situations, especially dealing with wicked people, because he will give them consequences and he will show them and lead them to the righteous path if they want to be led to the righteous path. If not, they will face consequences for their actions, but don't try to make them try to follow you. Don't try to force a direction that the Most High doesn't call you to force them into. You lead by example, lead with your lifestyle, lead with your relationship with the Most High, but never force people who are wicked into trying to be righteous. Understand that you can preach, you can show them the way and lead by example. You could lead with your faith, walking with faith and not by sight. The Most High will impose on their life and judge their life. So leave it in the Most High's hands. What we fail to understand and think about is in a wicked person's life, behind the scenes, they may face torment. They may face insecurities, illnesses, harm from other people, childhood traumas, past and present traumas, curses, spiritual bindings, spells that may have been casted on them. They may have been wronged by others, which made them walk in the direction of wickedness. So we have to understand that when we're dealing with these people, speaking to these people on a day-to-day -day basis, walking amongst these people, whether it be in the workplace environment, whether it be just going to a place, an event where you see somebody that imposes themselves as wicked, understand that people go through their own things. People go through their own problems, which lead them to walk in darkness and fall from grace. But we ultimately have to stand firm in our belief system. We have to stand firm in the most high. And even if we have to forgive those individuals and pray for those individuals who are wicked and move on with our life, then so be it. We must try our best to not focus on the wicked, but focus on our life and focus on how we can improve ourselves and build a positive relationship with the most high. Even in society now with finances and other vices, people may have families that they have to take care of. They may have to take care of themselves, pay bills. And with inflation and all these things that are going on in the world, people have become more spiteful. People have become more heartless. People have become more negative and people have been fueled by anger and wickedness that the enemy places instead of having grace. So what we must do is walk in righteousness, analyze situations and understand that we have to focus on our life, focus on ourselves, focus on developing ourselves in a way that we can show others that the most high has been working in our lives and been a blessing to our lives. We have to walk in the direction that the Most High wants us to walk 
and not worry about the wicked. Understand that there will be a time where the wicked will face their own judgment. There will be a time where the righteous will prevail as the first shall be last and the last shall be first. But we must understand that throughout the time that we're on earth, move with love, give grace, walk in strength, keep the faith and understand that we have the ability on a day-to-day -day basis to improve our lives in a positive way. And this doesn't mean when you deal with wicked people that you take disrespect because there are some wicked people who are very disrespectful and try to destroy your boundaries that you have placed out there. But this means that you express your boundaries if you're feeling disrespected. Speak up for yourself, stand up for yourself in a way that is pleasing to the Most High. Because the Most High wants us to call on Him, wants us to be out there and put ourselves out there and show others that we are walking with Him and we must understand that even when we go through various situations, our ability is to speak and don't be afraid to speak and stand up for yourself always and understand that the Most High will protect you when you can't protect yourself. The Most High will protect you and show you and guide you in the way, even when the wicked seem like they're winning and just trying to destroy you and trying to ruin you and trying to ruin your image and trying to destroy you. The Most High will bring you out of these situations and pull you and protect you and guide you in many miraculous ways that you wouldn't understand. So keep the faith, understand that the Most High is protecting us, watching us, covering us on a day-to-day -day basis. But no, you may feel weak right now, but you will feel strong later in the end. I want to thank you guys for watching today. Like, subscribe, comment down below and understand that if you're walking down the path of righteousness, you will prevail in the end. Peace.